Now that you're a little bit more comfortable in working with the selection tools available to you in Adobe Photoshop, it's time to learn about refining your selections, softening the edges, and getting better at the ability to select specific items to put into other composite multi-layered graphics. There's a couple of things we're going to introduce, working in quick mask mode and refining edge tools that are available to you. So let's take a look at a selection or a possible selection here in this case. What if I wanted to take this balloon, select it, and place it into another multi-layered Photoshop document? I can work on selecting this balloon and then refining my selection till I have exactly what I want to place into the other document. One way that I could begin, there are many, many ways that you could attack this, but I could start with my quick selection tool and I can select everything but the balloon. And notice that I'm in add to selection mode, so I don't have to hold my shift key down in this case. And I'm just going to keep adding to the selection. Remember that I'm selecting everything but the balloon, simply be because there are quite a few gradients in the balloon itself, and I'm just finding it easier to select the other elements than trying to go through and guarantee that I'll get those, those subtle gradients within the balloon. Now to select the balloon itself, I'm going to select Inverse, and now I have the balloon selected. What if we zoom in though? You can see that there are some problems with my selection. For example, I've got a little bit of the sky selected here, and some of the edges could be cleaned up a bit. So if I want to smooth out the edges and maybe get rid of the sky in my selection, I could work in quick mask mode. That's one of the ways. Quick mask mode can be found at the bottom of your tools panel. If I click to edit in quick mask mode, I can now use the brush tools to help me add to my mask. Remember the mask is everything but the item you want selected. Think of working in uh, working with an airbrush or working with watercolors. You mask out certain areas in order to add pigment and elements to other areas. So we're going to continue to mask out stuff that we don't want. I'm going to choose a small brush, which I've already got selected here, and I want this brush to be, uh, you know, a little bit harder because um, some of the edges I'm working with are pretty refined and close up. So once I have my brush selected, I go in and I start adding to the mask, and I kind of move the mouse around as I add to the mask, leaving the riders in the balloon out of the mask. And they're very small, so I just have to Im I have to merely imply that the riders are there. I don't have to worry too much about the details of those specific people. But it's important to still have the basket included. So I'm not going to mask out the basket, but I might want to smooth the edges of the mask around the basket. And I'm just clicking and using my brush to help add to the mask. And you can see that it, it adds to the mask and adds to the pinkish color of the mask here in quick mask mode. So I can work on this. I could even uh, choose a larger brush if I wanted to and work on smoothing out the edges. And the edges are going to be smoothed out using a brush. Think of it as feathering, feathering the edges. And that's the amount of anti-aliasing that this selection has. And I can go back and forth choosing different brush sizes and keep adding or select or subtracting. Keep adding to my, my mask in this way. And after I feel 
pretty happy with the mask that I have made. Then I can jump out of quick mask mode and you can see my selection of the balloon. And as I zoom out, you can see that I've got a pretty good idea of the balloon selected and its riders. So that's using quick mask mode. Another way that I can redefine or refine my selection is using refine edge. So I can again start by using quick selection tool in add mode for the quick selection tool and select everything but the balloon just by clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging again I'm still using the add to selection mode and I can go select inverse once again to select the balloon but this time I'm going to use the refine edge tool now the refine edge tool shows us a very similar way in overlay view that quick mask mode did we can also view it in marching ants we can view it on black, which in this case really helps us see the edge of our selection. We can see it on white, which doesn't give us much in this case. You have to choose the view that works best on a case-by-case -case basis. And because the sky was really light, seeing it on white isn't helping us. You can also view it in black and white mode or on layers. But just use the mode that gives you the best view of your selection. So now in this case I can see that um, I've got a little bit of the sky selected along the edge of the balloon and that it, the edges are a little bit jaggy. So I could probably use a little smoothing or feathering to adjust the edge. Now edge detection in Photoshop can be done using Smart Radius. And that's asking the tool itself to find the edges. And as I increase the radius, you can see that it's being very smart about finding the edges of the selection. You can see as I pull it back to the original, where it didn't find some of these sky bits around the balloon. But as I'm using edge detection and smart radius and increasing that, it seems to be finding some of that sky. The other thing I can do is I can feather, use these very sparingly, sparingly, but I can adjust the edge of my selection. I can feather it just a bit and it's going to smooth out the edge of the selection. Or I can use the smoothing tool as well, or a combination. But these should be used very sparingly or increase the contrast of the edge selection. And you can see very subtle differences there. I can also shift the edge. So if I shift my edge outward, that's going to cause the feathering to go outward and beyond my selection of the balloon. Or I can shift the edge slightly inward. And that brings it inward into the balloon itself. And now you can see that I've got a very smooth selection of the edge of the balloon. So I can refine my edge using the Refine Edge tools while using a selection tool. So I have a selection tool and in the Tool Options panel if I bring up Refine Edge we've got various options to us to allow us to further refine the edge and click OK. Or I can use a combination of the two. I can jump back into quick mask mode, zoom in, and I can mask out a little bit more of the sky around the passengers in the balloon as I have done before. So sometimes you need to use a combination of refining the edge and quick mask mode. 
So as you begin to work on your multi-layered composite images, keep in mind these tools that enable you to really refine your selections. As I zoom out and get out of quick mask mode, I feel pretty confident that I've got a good selection now that's nice and smooth and I can copy and paste this element into other documents that I may be working on. So this concludes your refining selections using Adobe Photoshop tools, quick, quick mask mode, and the refine edge tools.